All right, Ness, woof, woof. Thank you. And coming up here on the Geico Halftime Report, Rick, BJ, and I with all of the days ranked on ranked games, including Mason Rudolph's record-setting day after this word from your local station. CBS Sports presents the Geico Halftime Report. Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. All right, everyone, welcome to the Geico Halftime Report. I'm Adam Zucker alongside Rick Neuheisel and Brian Jones. The score in Jacksonville, same as it was after the first quarter. Georgia 21, Florida nothing. Whoever runs for the most yardage has won the last 11, BJ. Georgia has that margin, but it's, got, it's gotten narrower. It has gotten narrow, but already sitting on 167, running the rock. They're averaging 282 coming into this ball game, and it gets started here with Sony Michelle, 74 yards, right up the gut, a simple running play, no one there to stop him. And then you get Nick Chubb involved. I mean, this guy's been doing it his whole career. Now, what a wonderful career he's had as a Georgia Bulldog. They have just been pounding this defense of Florida. And if you're frustrated as a Florida fan watching Felipe Franks in the pocket, here's your issue. He keeps looking for the primary, then his eyes drop and he looks at the rush. You have to feel the rush and keep your eyes downfield. Here, his eyes drop again. He's left for dead. Obviously, he's a good athlete. His legs can make some yards, but they've got to keep his eyes down the field if they're going to make any hay. All right, 21-0 hour score. Let's get to some other action in the top 25, including a big one in the Big Ten, Penn State. Visiting Ohio State, B.J. and Saquon Barkley putting his stamp on the big one against the Buckeyes. Let's get this party started, right? Let's get this party started quickly. Saquon Barkley does exactly that, possibly running himself to the top of the Heisman list, list if he wasn't already there. Yeah, Herbert, here comes some more, because watch this cutback. Using those big old powerful legs of his and his quarterback. After leading the charge for the running back, they thought he may have stepped out of bounds, but he did. And they had that interception reverse. Penn State scoring on the next play. Rough start for Urban Meyer in an 11-point game. Meanwhile, Notre Dame facing this hot NC State team. Rick, how about the special teams for the Tyler Wolfpack? Newsom gets his punt block here by James Smith-Williams. Jermaine Pratt falls on it for the North Carolina State touchdown. A beautiful Ooh. pass by Brian Finley here to Kelvin Harmon. Circus catch, but here come the Irish Brandon Wimbush right here. Scores and just seconds ago. Wimbush again, this time Kevin Stepperson. A review it. He's in. Irish have a lead. Some great plays in that game so far. Meanwhile, Iowa State, they are in control right now. Already took out Oklahoma this season. Going after another Big 12 title contender, BJ. Right there, Kyle Kemp undefeated as a starter. Finds Matthew Eaton. And here, watch Hakeem Butler get a pinky toe in. Iowa State, if they win, it's control their own destiny. They're in the Big 12. This is not your mamas and daddy Iowa State Cyclones team. Or your older brothers. They're ranked for the first time since 2005. If this keeps up, they're in control of their own destiny to win the Big 12. Matt Campbell, just two years removed from his tenure at Toledo, doing an unbelievable job. And I love this story about Kyle Kemp. He was a third stringer. Exactly. He comes in, he wins at Oklahoma, not looking like and it was any accident. Also displayed that they know how to handle success, not getting ahead of themselves, knowing they had a big one on the docket versus TCU. All right, let's see how they handle a 14-point lead against yeah. TCU. All right, let's get to some SEC action now. Arkansas and Ole Miss, it was wild. Two teams with their backup quarterbacks. For the Rebels, it's Jordan Tamu here, keeping it for his second of the day. A 31-7 lead, but it was way before halftime, and the Hogs just keep eating. This can't happen. Tamu fumbles a botched handoff right there. Eric Sweeney is there on the spot. They score, and late in the game, Connor Lippert, 34 yards. As clock winds down, Crazy. Arkansas 38-37. Those piggies, 38-37. All right, meanwhile, South Carolina, they've won the last eight against Vandy. Doors looking for their first conference win of the year, BJ. Nice clean park, Kyle Sherman. He finds Ari Blasting game. He's a good sporting. Watch Jake Bentley here. I don't dance anymore. I make money moves. <laughs> South Carolina's A.J. Turner. He's going to take it over the top. The boys got hot. And there you go. Gamecocks on top, 14-7. Of course, they are next week's Georgia opponent. We'll get you caught up on all the other top 25 action when the Geico Halftime Report continues. The Home Depot, SEC on CBS, is sponsored by Verizon. Geico. Outback Steakhouse. And by Dr. Pepper. 
Wake Up for Football. Start your Sunday live from London, only on NFL Network. The Vikings are poised to clash with the Browns across the pond. Vikings, Browns, get up for football. Tomorrow at 9.30, only on NFL Network. Welcome back to the Geico Halftime Report. A reminder, a full day and night of college football action over on CBS Sports Network. It's Air Force Colorado State right now, followed by Missouri and UConn, then Utah State hosting Boise State. Back to the scoreboard, Morgantown, West Virginia, and we got a backup Mountaineer. Is that a reasonable fact? Simile. The starting mascot was suspended after a DUI. Here's Mason Rudolph going after the record books. BJ, but why? Yeah, they wouldn't suspend him for throwing this interception to Kenny Robinson, who knows what to do with it. He would redeem himself with Mr. Rudolph finding James Watson. Two-point conversion, no good. Rudolph broke most Oklahoma State records today, including his head coach's career win. And completions and touchdowns. James All Washington, that. most career active touchdowns among receivers. Now, Wisconsin just plugging away here, Rick. But then uh, some big injury news. Fullbacks are alive and well in Wisconsin. Alec Ingold plunging in for the one-yard score. But unfortunately, Jonathan Taylor had to leave the game. 12 uh, carries, 73 yards. Hopefully come back from the left ankle. But this is the play. Marty Brook finds his big offensive lineman. That's Michael. Oh, big man. Michael Dieter. <laughs> and Mark Rick has his uh, semi-new team still undefeated. A little close with the Tar Heels today. Oh, DJ. I like Whoa. the summer league rolls here. And he likes wide open wide receivers like Jeff Thomas here. But here comes those Kakalaki. Nathan Elliott. That's how they roll, man. 12 straight wins, a lot of nail biters. Meanwhile, UCLA, seven game road losing streak might continue against number 12, Washington. Michigan State, they keep it close too. Tied at 10 with Northwestern as the Spartans try to stay perfect in conference play. And USF. Tied now with Miami for the nation's best 12-game winning streak. They are up 7-0 on Houston. A reminder, next Saturday, the Home Depot SEC on CBS. Coverage begins at 2.30 Eastern with the drive to Atlanta. Presented by Mercedes-Benz, followed by State Farm College Football Today. Then South Carolina and number three Georgia kick off an SEC doubleheader with our own Rick Neuheisel on the call by uh -oh. Rick. Followed by number 23 LSU and top-ranked Alabama in prime time. Meantime, Florida getting shut out right now. What changes? It's exactly what we talked about in the pregame. They have to find some passing game. There has to be some explosive nature to this throw game if they're going to get back in. Last two ball games, 18 and 20. That's the longest completions that they have had. That's not going to cut it in this ball game. Their defense has played better during the second half. Holding them there with that 21. Time of possession clearly favor them. They've had right. 20 minutes to 10, but they're going to have to hit some balls down the field. Make some big plays, turnovers. We'll see. Some big hits going on. We Ooh. thank you for watching Angry the dog. Geico Halftime Report. Coming up, the second half of Thank Georgia you. and Florida. What else? CBS Sports presents the GEICO Halftime Report. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance.